Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel and video. <laughs> I am Mitchell, your Intuitive Messenger, and this is your energy forecast for today, Tuesday, April 15th, comma, tax day in the U.S., comma, Passover, comma, full blood pink moon day. So there's just... But I would say a lot of possibilities and a lot of energy going on today. Today is the number 15, and that number 15 in terror is the devil card. And often what that will mean for me is feeling of being stuck or trapped or chained in place. Oftentimes um, your addictions or things that hold you back tend to pop up a little bit more right now. Um, I must be embracing my Leo with my big hair today. Um, <laughs> I'm getting it cut this week. But also you pull that number down, bring 15 down to six, and that is the lover's card. So there's that, that beautiful connection, there's that potential for um, you know, life mate, soul mate, um, relationship, marriage, just even partnership, bonding, contracts being signed kind of a thing. Um, and you add up all the numbers and you're gonna get number 17, which is the star card, which is hope, which is, you know, and guidance and plentiful abundance out there, but it's definitely after the 16, which was kind of yesterday shifting and changing. Today, we have a little bit more time to breathe and move on. And that number also boils down to number eight, which is our strength card. And strength is simply that you have the strength in you, um, find it, develop it, work on it. It's a good day for that. So, all of those numbers, just for me and what I teach, basically give us some energy. Um, and some possibilities and some spice to add whatever you want to add to your recipe which colors your day and makes it taste just a little bit different. I base all my numbers off of traditional numerology and also the tarot because the tarot is where I connect back to most and that's how spirit, that's just my tool and that's how spirit speaks to me the most loudly and communicatively that they can. And now Lenormand is becoming even more and more of that for me. So I'm going to pull, speaking of, a Lenormand card and um, see what, the where we are right now. Before I do that, I want to say um, I am doing in-person readings in Kissimmee, Florida. So if you're in the Central Florida area, probably just a 45-minute drive at the most. But Kissimmee, Florida, you can go to my website or New World Wellness down, Yoga Downtown. Um, you can find all that on my website, intuitivemessenger.org. And uh, you book through them, and I have... Have readings open from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. this Saturday, uh, April the 19th. So keep that in mind. But um, so pulling the little Norman card right now. That card is going to be kind of the what the where I kept seeing this too. This is the bear card. Oftentimes, this is our, our mama bear. This can be about like big business and our finances and things like that. It is the number 15 card, so I love that. Here it is, 15 day, it's 15 card. It's also the 10 of clubs. So if we bring that back to tarot, the 10 of clubs, 10 of wands, a lot of work, a lot of physical work going on. So much so that it's got us down, down to the ground. But this can be our, our strength, our finances. Um, uh, more importantly, it's becoming more and more my mama bear. My mama bear watching over, taking care of. So that's kind of the area we're looking in, either either big business finances or, you know, mama bear and what's going on with her slash him. Because, um, you know, it could be papa bear easily. So the card going to go with it from Tara will be the death card. Once again, this card has been popping up a lot lately. It has been um, a hot topic for our cosmic caffeine ever since Ev Evan's passing on March 2nd. So the death card, you know, dealing with Mama Bear, very directly this could be Mama Bear passing away. You know, so make sure if, if and I don't feel like this is predictive, but just be aware because I feel like this is something that people already are connected with and know about. So be aware that this could be bringing things to an end. This can also be, because um, I'm also feeling heavily that this is Mama Bear bringing her worry to an end. So, you know, anytime something like the death card pops up, don't immediately go to the, the worst case scenario because for what you feel might be the worst case scenario is probably just your fear and perception of what could happen because any death is a beginning of something brand spanking new as well. You know, uh, the death car can come out when someone finally gets out of prison. Whew, how nice would that be to end that incarceration? You know, so maybe maybe your mom's finally getting out of prison. You know, maybe that prison is uh, figurative rather than literal. So, you know, be open to all the beautiful possibilities, knowing that this is guidance. You know, nothing should, if anything comes out in fear for you, ask the simple questions. What am I afraid of? What am I afraid of? 
you know, and the answers come back, that's where your work starts. That is anytime you ask, where am I, why am I afraid? Or I love the question, you know, what would I do if I weren't afraid? That is where your work starts right now, today. The thing that scares you the most, not that you have to go do it, but why are you afraid of it? You know, if it's getting up on a stage and speaking, that fear could be about being embarrassed or that fear could be about your weight. So that's where your um, work should start. So find out and just ask that simple question, what am I afraid of? And then the work will start there. Why am I holding back from this area where the fear is? Now, I am sweating very much. So, so this very powerful message for me. Uh, probably probably something I need to deal with as well is probably what I'm feeling. Um, so definitely, uh, you know, work through this, allow and accept the healing. Every video I do, I start out before I even turn it on with this intention that, um, first of all, that I would receive all that I'm about to say, but more importantly, that you would receive healing, guidance, confirmation, and balance in your life by watching this video and accepting it, and that you would resonate, operate, and vibrate in the highest possible frequency of divine love that you can, and you would allow your own personal vibration to raise up just a little bit more into a place beyond comfortable, but not quite painful, every day raising that vibration just a little bit more. So embrace that. Um, thank you so much. Just in case you didn't notice, there was a glitch. I had to stop and start the recording. Actually, it stopped it for me. Um, but I think I picked up at the right place. Um, so check out my website, intuitivemessenger.org, in-person readings in Central Florida, Kissimmee area. Um, thank you for those of you who are still purchasing a full spread. Go check it out on my website, intuitivemessenger.org. It's $30 for a full spread, 12 days, 12 weeks, or 12 months. They are very, very effective, especially with a lot of changes in personal growth. Um, so I think that's about it. Cosmic Caffeine on Sunday nights. I'm going to New York the following weekend for a big reader's studio, which is a big terror conference up in New York City. So I'm very excited about that. Talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Have a good day. Namaste.